just finished testing the Stingray 206cc deck boat. Now this is Stingray's new uh, center console deck boat. While it looks like a hardcore fishing boat, it also has some great family amenities as well. It's a great ski boat uh, also. We're powered by a Yamaha F200, which proved to be a great match for this boat. Got on plane in 2.5 seconds to 30 miles an hour in 6.8 seconds, and its top speed was 53 miles an hour, which is scooting right along. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features of this boat. One thing we found out this boat loves to do is turn. I was able to actually turn it all the way to the stop, so if you drop a skier, you just turn around, pick them right up. Check that out. Beautiful. Well, Barry, this is something I have never seen on a Stingray before. Center console. Looks like we got the whole thing going on here. It's not just a f hardcore fishing boat. It looks like uh, this is set up for family fun as well. How many center console boats or anything of that type where you can sit like this and you're propped up by fiberglass seat backs and nice warm cushions and soft cushions and, and plenty of room. That's great. Just like a deck boat. Now, when you go in fishing mode, what do you do here? In fishing mode here, uh, you don't really have to worry about changing the cushions if you don't want to, but the cushions just pop off and you have full open wide deck area for walking and casting and everything. You have storage underneath each side. You have anchor storage in the middle. You can get a pedestal seat. You can have a trolling motor, which this one has the pod for. Uh, you have an option for uh, stuff in the center console for there to be a forward live well if you need to. and. Uh, it's just nice, comfortable, and, and everything for, for the fishermen. But it's also, as you can see, here for anyone to be able to sit back and relax. Hey, I think I could fish it from this yeah, position yeah, pretty well, you too. Might catch you a nap. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> exactly. I like that center cleat, too. It, you know, I see a lot of deck boats with the cleats on the corners, and that doesn't work out too well when you're in a little bit of a chop. Barry, this is something I don't see in a, a center console deck boat very often, Looks, and we have two of them. You have, have one on both sides, that's correct. Also have tackle boxes on both sides in your storage, and you have cup holders. Now what do we have underneath the seat cushion there? Underneath the seat cushion on this uh, center console, you have an option of a forward live well, but it's or standard as a cooler. So it's a forward cooler that could uh, uh, store everything. Got great big access, and the seat stays has the hinges on it that hold it up. And yeah, everything. the friction so hinges. That's and great. And it's got the little plunger and everything to keep it held down when you're moving. It doesn't want to fly up. Now, this is not a sound I hear too often on yeah. uh, uh, deck boats. Here. Yeah, we're using uh, real tempered glass in the windshield. Um, not many people are doing that, if any. Um, we feel like that's that's a that is a very good standard on our boat for to be able to offer that to the customer and to the consumer who's going to buy this boat as stability and strength, and you don't have to worry about crazing and all the stuff that weather does to to, to uh, the place of glass. Right now, do we have a head in this? Uh, this console this head, this center console does have a head in it, and it's on this side. Barry, one thing I I see right off the bat that you're doing that a lot of them don't is you've got plenty of room for electronics. You actually have a place to put junk. All fishermen and boaters in general have lots of junk. Well, that's true, and we try to, we try to be wary of, of all of uh, things that people use when they're, when they're out boating and everything else. You have um, non-skid up here so that you can set something up there and not slide all over the place, but you do have access to up to 10-inch uh, electronics and everything else on the instrument panel. Um, uh, we also have additional storage underneath the foot where you can put your cell phone and put everything else down here um, and it'll hold it up and it stays up or it stays stays down for storage. Uh, it's got switchology stereo, all set up for comfort of two people sitting behind your nice tempered glass windshield. Well, I'll tell you what, when we're doing our performance test, one thing I really liked is this uh, uh, spinner knob on the thing. We were whipping this thing around. Right. This thing hooks up beautifully, by the way. We got it all the way to the stop and it didn't blow out at all. Yeah, so, so That's another part of the, uh, the, the Z-plane hull that we have in our manufacturing that lets our boats really handle well in the water and having access and you can, whether you're sitting down in this mode or you're standing up and you're in this mode, your steering is 
very active and the bottom of the boat holds holds tight to the water. And I see we got a stereo too here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Everybody needs to be listening to good music or whatever they want to do. We have all types of tune right in. Tell me about the leaning post here. Well, we have a, a three position leaning post. It's kind of our design. It's something that we sat down with to see what's what's simple, what's easy, what works. And uh, right now it's in the full sit down mode. We have an option to take and push it into the uh, leaning post mode for the driver. And you have just two little slide downs and slide ups. And then if you want the aft um, facing, where you can sit facing aft and everything else. Underneath this console also is a standard with the boat, a live well. Yeah, that's great. So you have that in there too. Barry, I like the fact that you've made the rear uh, platforms back here accessible with these two walkthroughs. When you're fishing, you might sometimes have to hop back there real quick. That's correct. But I like the fact that you flip them up and you also have seating too. Well, you're not always fishing all the time, and when you are in motion going where you want to go, it gives you more access for people to have a seat to sit in and everything else. But when you're ready to do your fishing and you want mobility to move around the deck, you just fold them down and, and, and you have full access through. Uh, you have uh, storage underneath them for additional storage. Uh, that side has a three gallon uh, bucket that stays underneath there, and this side has your operating battery and everything else for other accesses. You know, one thing too I love is the fact you recognize that fishermen do like a beverage once in a while, and I oh, see yeah. rod cup holders. You've got cup holders forward, and you got more stainless steel rod uh, holders that are standard on this boat. Yeah, it's amazing. You have, what, six back here in mm -hmm. the gunnels and in the stern, and you have under gunnel uh, storage on both sides. Side gunnel storage for underneath there for four rods and rod and reels, and then you have uh, the verticals on the back. And Barry, what do we have underneath here? Under here we have storage for the, the cooler and access all the way into the bilge to be able to get to anything that you need underneath the, the floor accesses in the back. And under behind the seat you have access to where the ski pole would go into it to uh, mount into there. Yeah, this is a boat, looks like you can do a little bit of everything on for sure. Yeah, it's got a, a lot of options, like we said. We're in the deck boat business and we just added a center console to the deck boat line to give you access for multiple uses. For more information on the Stingray 206cc deck boat and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones and we'll see you out on the water.